And I just keep thinking, we need to get the message out. Everyone's not hearing it. We need to share our story and stories like my story. Tonight, a Carmel mother whose son almost drowned a year ago is now hoping to help other families. She started an organization called Chase's Challenge, named after her four-year-old son, Chase. RTV6's Nicole Griffin is showing us how she hopes to save other children from the scary situation that her family dealt with. One of the biggest goals with Chase's Challenge is to encourage families right here in central Indiana to learn CPR because Danielle, Chase's mom, says this is what helped save his life. At now four years old, Danielle Bohm's son Chase is happy and healthy, but this past year was a difficult road for them. Chase fell into a pool and had to be rescued last August. My husband didn't hear him fall in the water. It's not like the movies. He wasn't screaming or anything. He just sank to the bottom of the pool. Danielle says she rushed outside from the kitchen to her worst nightmare, her husband performing CPR on Chase. He checked for a pulse and he said, he's gone. I said, no, what do you mean? No, 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 no. He can't be gone. Like, he's just here. Like, don't stop. You have to keep doing CPR. And he started again, and thank goodness, uh, because in another minute or so, he coughed up water and he had a pulse. <laughs> Chase was rushed to the hospital and thankfully survived, leaving the next day with minor lung damage. Even though we have our blessing and we have our son, you know, I, I live and breathe it. I think about it every day. That is why she created Chase's Challenge. In June, she held her first event with SMRT Indiana, and now 50 people are CPR certified. Find where the ribs meet, and we're going about two fingers above that point. We're going to place our palm there and support the other. You can place your hands however you so wish, whatever's most uncomfortable, but allows us to provide that nice, firm, and fast compression. The American Heart Association says performing CPR can double or triple a person's chance of survival. So thank goodness he had gotten the CPR. I mean, every minute is crucial to survival. Through Chase's challenge, Danielle is hoping to raise money and hold even more events to help people get CPR certified all across the state. Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Thank you, Nicole. Well,